Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. How's everybody doing? I'm glad you're back and I welcome everybody, my new subscribers, my old subscribers, you're all welcome. So today we're working on an off-shoulder princess data dress. So I already made a detailed video on how to cut the upper part of this dress. And I will leave the link in the description box below. So the first thing that you're going to do, you, you, you will watch that video first, cut out your pattern piece, and that's what you will use to cut out your fabrics. So I have a lace fabric. I cut that out, including the, the lining for the lace interface and also the lining that will cover the interface after you've joined them together, just like I'm showing you here. So these are the back pieces. I have my center back and then my side backs, which you will join. You will join the main fabric together and then you will join the lining pieces uh, together by itself because you'll be using it to turn, turn it over from the neckline, okay? So this is how it will look like after you join them. And this is the back. Okay, so you look like this once you finish your joining. So this is my front and this is my lining piece. So after you've joined your main fabric and your, your lining, you're going to place the lining right sides facing each other. Then you will be sewing on the neckline, then the side and the bottom and the other side. So you can turn it over. You will do the same for the, um, for the back. I've already sewn the lining for the back and this is how you're going to pin it to turn it. And this is the front after I've uh, turned it over. I've used the lining to turn the main fabric. Now this is the back after I've sewn it and turned it over. So, and then it will look like this. Then you will be joining them on the side. Once you finish your sewing and turning, you will join it on the side like this. And then the, when you close it, the zipper will be in the middle, just like this. So the length of the upper part of this uh, dress is uh, 16 inches plus one inch that we're going to use to join it to the lower portion. So I'm going to work on the lower portion, which is this skirt now. So the total length I'm working with is... Um, 62 inches for the dress. So I'm going to be minusing the um, 17 inches that I have for the upper bodice from that 62 inches and I'm left with 45 inches. So that's what I folded my lower part to be, including the seam allowance, okay? So I'm using the lining fabric to cut this out first and I'll be cutting um, the lace after with the same lining all right so now I folded my um, front piece plus my back piece and the back will have uh, one and a half inches zipper allowance so I drew my guideline and I will measure from my waist to my um, hip line then my waist to knee line so that, um, for your knee line you have Whatever you have for your knee line, you subtract two inches from that. Your measurement will not start directly on the knee line, okay? So for me, mine was at 21, but I made it at 19 inches instead. So after which you will mark out your vertical lines. Then you go on the waistline and you place your waist measurement divided by four plus one inch for the dart allowance, plus one and a half inches for the side seam. So that's the measurement I place right there on the waistline. 
Okay, so now on the hip line, you divide your hip by four inches. You place that measurement plus one and a half inches of seam allowance. So I like to add more seam allowance just in case. It's better to have more than less, okay? So now whatever measurements you have for your knee uh, hip measurement, you're going to minus one and a half inches from there and place that measurement on the knee line, just like I did here. Okay, so since this is going to be an A line, that flares from the knee. You first join all your lines together, your waist to your hip, and then your hip to the knee line, like this. And then you make a little curve on that knee because you don't want it to have a sharp edge. Then you will extend the rest of the line down to the hem line. So you can decide how much you want to use on fold. Um, I'm using about 15 inches so that when you open it up, it will be like 30 inches. You can use more or less. Okay, so that's exactly what I did here. And then I extend the rest of the line down. And... Um, Basically, the skirt portion is done, so I'm just going to go ahead and uh, add my dot. So you're going to be using the same nipple to nipple measurement that we used when we drafted the upper bodies. And for the front, the, the dot will end at 6 inches or actually supposed to end the two inches before the hip line. Then you're going to take out half an inch on both sides. Okay, you take out a half an inch out that on both sides of the nipple line. Then we're going to connect all the lines together like this. So if you watch uh, my some of my videos, uh, you'll be familiar on how to draft your your dot. Okay. Okay. So the dot has been created, and we are basically ready to cut out the. The lower portion of this dress so go ahead and cut yours out and then you're going to use it and cut the main fabric so this is my lining piece okay so is when you're working with a lace fabric is very is uh, usually advisable to use your lining to cut because when you're marking on the lace, it's very difficult to see it, especially the lace with uh, stones and um, embellishments. All right. Okay, I forgot to curve the hem, so I went back and use, um, used my hand and curve the hem because I don't want the that side to have a sharp edge. Okay, that's what I did, and then you just trim that off. Okay, so this is the skirt portion. Now I'm going to cut it, use my cut it on my main fabric.
All right, I've cut this on my lace and I am going to sew my lining onto the lace. I'm going to sew it on the sides and also at the top. So you're going to place wrong side facing the right side so that when you sew, when you turn it over, the piece, the right side will be showing under the lace. Okay. So after you've done it, uh, the skirt is the lower portion is going to have a yoke on the in the front, just like you see on the the style inspiration. So what you're going to do is get another lining uh, fabric, and then you will trace the you will trace down to your hip line. And then you cut that out. So I've already cut that out. And then I'm going to show you how you will cover it out. If you look properly on the, the style, the style on the thumbnail, you see that they have like a curve going on on the yoke on the skirt. So this is how it will look like after you have cut it out. You're going to measure about seven inches on the right and 10 inches on the left and then you draw a line like this you're going to curve the line okay you curve it like this so now you're going to be cutting out the rest of the the fabric and then this will be your yoke for the skirt. All right, this is how it's going to look like. So you're going to be cutting two pieces of this yoke. So you'll be using one to turn it over. Okay. like this after you cut it you look like this and then you'll be sewing this side the bottom and then you will turn it over like this so after you've turned it over now you go ahead and place it back on your skirt which is what i did and i've sewn the sides and also the bottom so i had some designs from my lace and i used it uh, to cover the seams on the yoke as you can see here so these are designs that i cut out from my lace i used um i used the e6000 glue to place those on the yoke so that's covered the all the side the seam is covered okay All right, so after you've done that for the front, you go ahead and you get your upper bodies. You get your upper bodies will be joining the, will be joining the bodies now to the skirt portion of the front. And then we do the same for the back. After that, I went ahead and I added my zipper. I used an invisible zipper. And I also have a tutorial on how to apply and insert your invisible zipper. So I will put the link in the description box so that you can also watch on how, how to do that. So this is my back piece after I've added my invisible zipper. And this is the front. Okay, so now we're ready to join them together. So you're going to place the front piece and the back piece uh, right side facing each other. And now you're going to get your tape rule on the chest line. You're going to measure your true uh, bust measurement. So this time around, you're going to be dividing it into two. 
assuming if your bus measurement is 38 then you're going to divide into two and that's going to give you 19 so you make sure you place that measurement on the bust area so you're going to have like excess uh, seam allowance which is okay so as long as you get your true bust measurement you place it there whatever is left is going to be your seam allowance you can either cut the, off the excess or leave it as is you know so i'm going to go ahead and place my bust measurement i measured i measured the, what i have so i have about 23 inches so you're going to be minusing that from 19 18 inches and whatever you have left you will be dividing it on both sides so that you have um, accurate uh, measurement so go ahead i went ahead and i start pinning them down now on the waist uh, line we're going to do the same you divide your waist by two So my waist measurement is at 34 inches. Divide that by two, it gives me 17. But I have about 21 inches. So if you minus, if you minus that, your 17 inches, 21 minus 17. I have four, so I will take out two on the on the left side and two on the right side. So after that, you measure from your waist to your hip line. Then you'll be dividing your hip measurement by two as well, and you place that measurement. If you have excess seam allowance, you minus that from your actual hip measurement. And you place it right there just like i did then you connect it together from the waist and connect also on the other side so i'm just going to go ahead and connect it and then pin it down and then i'll take it to the sewing machine and sew it all the way down All right, so I'm going to be pinning until I get all the way to the end. Then I'll sew it and show you what it looks like. All right, now we're going to work on the sleeve. The sleeve, like I said, is going to be um, the sleeve is going to be a bishop sleeve. All right. So what I did is just get um the contrast uh, fabric that i'm using for the sleeve so the sleeve is the same as the the lining that i use for the dress all right so i folded my fabric into two and then get my length the length of the sleeve so now take keep in mind that the sleeve is going to have a, a band so if you want your entire measurement of the sleeve to be uh, 22 inches or 20 inches you you're going to be minusing how much you want for the uh, band from that and then use the rest for your the length of the main sleeve i've also done a tutorial on how to do this before so i'm just you know going ahead and showing you here briefly so at the very end you're going to measure four and a half inches remember that's the four and a half inches we took out when we drafted the bodies so that's what i just did and i connect like this 
So we'll be adding an elastic on this uh, sleeve at the bottom and uh, I'm sorry we'll be having a gathering stitches on the bottom and then on the upper part I'll be using an elastic to attach it to the uh, main bodies. All right so we're going to go ahead and cut this sleeve out and then you I'll use the lace fabric to cut out my band. Okay, so this is the sleeve. Like I said, the upper part is going to have an elastic and the bottom part is going to be gathered and then attach the band to that. All right, so this is my uh, dress after I've joined it. So you can see it's coming out very nice. Now what's left is just to attach the sleeves now. So this is the sleeve. So we'll gather the bottom and then attach elastic on the top before attaching it. So this is the sleeve and I've also created, I have created the elastic uh, casing. So this is the elastic casing. Once you attach it, you're going to attach first on the sleeve before you you now start uh, to attach the to add the elastic. So you're going to be measuring four and a half inches on each side before you attach it, and then from there you leave an opening to put your elastic. All right. Okay, so I'll show you how to do that. Now you're going to match the side seam of the of the sleeve to the side seam of the dress like this. Go ahead and pin them together. So you you can mark the four and a half inches on the sleeve and then before you start to sew your elastic casing so you know where you end so you know where to leave an opening to in insert your elastic and that's what i did or you can just use uh, your tailor's chalk and mark that okay And that will be your armhole area. All right. And now you can see how it looks like. I'm going to go ahead and sew it down with the, my sewing machine. And I've already attached the other side. Okay. So I'm going to sew it down. And then after which I'll get the elastic and begin to insert it. So this is the sleeve I've, after I've sewn the armhole area. The next thing is now to attach the elastic. So I'm using uh, about five and a half inches of elastic. And then I begin to insert it on the opening that I left by the armhole area. That's on the four and a half inches mark. So go ahead and use your safety pin and keep pushing through the elastic until you get to the other side of the armhole area. All right, so I'm going to just pin it down like this and then I continue to push the rest. The reason being that you don't want it to shift as you're working.
All right, so when you get to the other side, you just uh, take out your pen. As, no, as, when you get to the other side, so you take out the pen, okay? Now you're just going to sew down the elastic. You sew down the elastic. I'm using the needle to show you, but you can use your sewing machine and just sew the end of the elastic so that it can be secure and not shift. So I'm just using needle and thread to do that. All right. To make sure that it stays, you can still go back and use your sewing machine and just sew, give a, a long stitch on there so that the elastic will be secure. Okay, after you've sewn it, you do the same for the other side. Okay, so when you finish sewing, this is how what it looks like. All right, I'm just making sure I sew this securely because you don't want to, when you're wearing your dress for the elastic to pop. So I made sure that I sewed it down securely. And then you go ahead and cut that out. And now the elastic has been securely attached and the dress is uh, practically finished. So this is what it looks like after it's been done. And as you can see, the, the sleeve uh, drapes nicely. So this is the dress. So if this tutorial has been helpful, please give a thumbs up, uh, comment, like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And um, I will see you next time on on my next video and this is the entire dress i put it on the mannequin for you to see how what it looks like i'll see you soon bye bye